George Gordon, 1st Marquess of Huntley, 1562, June 13, 1636, was a Scottish nobleman who took a leading role in the political and military life of Scotland in the late 16th century and around the time of the Union of the Crowns. Biography, The Son of George Gordon, 5th Earl of Huntley, and of Anne, daughter of James Hamilton, 2nd Earl of Arran and Duke of Chateleralt, he was educated in France as a Roman Catholic. He took part in the plot which led to the execution of James Douglas, 4th Earl of Morden in 1581 and in the conspiracy which saved King James VI from the Ruthven Raiders in 1583. In 1588 he signed the Presbyterian Confession of Faith but continued to engage in plots for the Spanish invasion of Scotland. On 28 November he was appointed Captain of the Guard, and while carrying out his duties at Holyrood his treasonable correspondence was discovered. King James, however, finding the Roman Catholic lords useful as a foil to the tyranny of the Kirk, was at this time seeking Spanish aid in case Queen Elizabeth I tried to challenge his right to the English throne. Huntley, always one of his favorites, was pardoned. Subsequently in April 1589, Huntley raised a rebellion in the north, but was obliged to surrender, and after a short imprisonment in Barthwick Castle was again freed. He then involved himself in a private war with the Grants and the Mackintoshes, who were assisted by the Earls of Ethal and Moray, and on February 8, 1592 he set fire to Moray's castle of Donai Bristle in Fife, and stabbed the Earl to death with his own hand. This outrage, which inspired the ballad The Bonnie Earl o Moray, brought retribution on Huntley when his enemies ravaged his lands. In December the Spanish blanks were intercepted, two of which bore Huntley's signature, and a charge of treason was again brought against him, while on September 25, 1593 he was excommunicated. James treated him and the other rebel lords with great leniency. On 26 November they were freed from the charge of treason, being ordered at the same time, however to renounce their Catholic faith or leave the kingdom. On their refusal to comply they were attainted. Huntley then joined the Earl of Errol and Francis Stuart Hepburn, 5th Earl of Bothwell, in a conspiracy to imprison the king, and they defeated the royal forces under Argyll in the Battle of Glenlivet on October 3, 1594, Huntley especially distinguishing himself. His victory gained no real advantage, his castle of Sturdboggy was blown up by James, and Huntley left Scotland in about March 1595. He returned secretly soon afterwards, and his presence in Scotland was at first tolerated by James, but owing to the hostile feeling aroused, and the no popery right in Edinburgh, the king demanded that he should abjure Romanism, Roman Catholicism or go into permanent banishment. He submitted to the Kirk in June 1597, and was restored to his estates in December. On April 7, 1599, he was created a Marquess, and on 9 July, together with Lennox, appointed Lieutenant of the North. He was treated with great favor by the King and was reconciled with Murray and Argyle. The Kirk still doubted the genuineness of his abjuration and, on December 10, 1606, he was confined to Aberdeen. On March 19, 1607 he was summoned before the Privy Council. Huntley thereupon went to England and appealed to James in person. He was excommunicated in 1608, and imprisoned in Stirling Castle until December 10, 1610 when he signed again the Confession of Faith. Accused of Romanist intrigues in 1616, he was ordered once more to subscribe the Confession, which this time he refused to do, imprisoned at Edinburgh, 
he was set free by James's order on 18 June, and having joined the court in London was absolved from excommunication by Abbot, Archbishop of Canterbury. This absolution, after a further subscription to the confession by Hunley, was confirmed by the Kirk. At the accession of King Charles I Huntley lost much of his influence at court. He was deprived in 1630 of his heritable sheriffships of Aberdeen and Inverness. The same year a feud broke out between the Crichtons and the Gordons, in the course of which Huntley's second son, Lord Melgham, was burned to death either by treachery or by accident while being entertained in the house of James Crichton of Frendrot. For the ravaging of the lands of the Crichtons Huntley was held responsible, and having been summoned before the Privy Council in 1635 he was imprisoned in Edinburgh Castle from December till June 1636. He left his confinement with shattered health, and died at Dundee while on his journey to Stradbogie on June 13, 1636, after declaring himself a Roman Catholic. Mm -hmm.